tell you that money doesn't buy happiness, right? They all told you that, but it's a lie, okay? In fact, money buys happiness, and you're going to be like, what's happened to her, right? But, but what the studies have found is that money buys happiness when it is spent on others. And that's amazing, right? That when I spend money on myself, it actually does not make me happier. This is the result that they found in studies. That people can spend on themselves and it doesn't make them happier. There might be, you know, a temporary sort of peak in my pleasure, but that actual well-being is found that the increase in well-being is when I spend on others. And that has been found to reliably increase happiness and well-being. Again, this is the, the design of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is how the Creator made our fitrah. Our nature is that it actually feels good to give to others more than it does to just be selfish. And if I keep that money, I may keep it, I may get rich, but it actually isn't making me happier. Whereas if I spend it on others, it makes me happier. Now, so far I haven't talked about religion. So far I'm just talking to you from a purely psychological, secular point of view. That this is just the design of the Creator. That the Creator has made us in such a way that it actually feels good to help. And that one of the ways, in fact this is so powerful, that one of the most effective ways to pull a person, for if a person is, is dealing with depression, if a person themselves is struggling, one of the most reliable ways to pull themselves up is to pull up another person. Is to help another person who is suffering. To help, to, to, to lend a hand to another person is one of the most reliable ways to pull myself up. And that's, again, that's the design of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Service to others. Now I told you there were two ways to increase that, that well-being, right? And the second is gratitude. It is the practice of gratitude.